You know, my mind is absolutely bulletproof, solid as a rock. I am number one. So if you are number one, who gives a shit if number two steps out in place of number three? At the end of the day, I'm number one. So it makes no difference who is standing across the octagon from me. I will win. He's a little five foot two twerp. He should have kept his mouth shut. And I'm gonna slap the face off him and that's it. And uh, Connor, I'm gonna f embarrass you, dude. I'm gonna destroy your life. Every person I've ever fought in the octagon has a reach advantage over me. I mean, this is nothing new, <laughs> you know? So uh, most people that Mike Tyson got in there and fought, you know, had a reach advantage on that guy too. So, you know, I'm the type of guy that has the athleticism. I am explosive. I can close the distance, you know? I'm not afraid of reach advantage over me. Uh, and I have the wrestling ability to put this dude on his back, anybody in the division to put them on their back. And I'm confident going into this fight. I'm waiting patiently to pull the trigger. So we've done a lot of build up into this. I've, I, like I said, I built this event. This is the McGregor show, make no mistake about it. So when I go inside that octagon, I'm gonna pull the trigger and, and eliminate my opponent. And I'm gonna enjoy every damn second of it. He's a one dimensional fighter. He's a stand up fighter. He's, that's it, bottom line. I mean, he doesn't have anything else. You know, I'm more well rounded. I have power. I can put people to sleep on their feet. I can take you down and beat a hole in your face, and I can submit you. What else can he do? And Connor, what would your response to that be? He will do absolutely none of those things. Not one little bit of a thing. He's a rookie. He's a, he's a novice in my eyes. He's, he's a white belt on the mat. He has no, in the grappling exchanges, he will, he will learn as well. I'm not really worried about being an underdog. I'm not, that's not what I concentrate on. Uh, I'm focused on, on just business at hand, going out there and destroying uh, Rory. Um, he's a heck of an opponent, really good opponent, but I'm focused. I've had a great training camp, and uh, I can't wait to showcase my skills. Um, it, was a close, it was a close fight, but, you know, I think the knockdown in the third round pretty much sealed the deal that... Robbie was going to get the decision. Um, I, I walked away with a lot. You know, it remotivated me. Most importantly, you know, refocused me on mixed martial arts. And you know, since then, I've been on a roll with three good wins against uh, some top contenders, and it's given me confidence going into this next fight. You know, for me, I I really needed to just be become more uncivilized, and when I fight, and uh, kind of separate. Uh, the juggernaut and, and, and really let it out there. So, you know, with going to the fight, I knew, no question, um, I have everything what it takes to win and, and uh, as well as I do on Sunday. So, you know, I'm just ready to step in the, the, K, the octagon Sunday and show the UFC, show the fans uh, that I'm ready for that next level of competition. Yeah, I'm going to go out there and implement my game and do what I do. And break is not a word he should ever associate with me because that's not something I do. I'm a wrestler at heart, 100% wrestler, and I do the breaking. Uh, this fight represents all the blood, sweat, and tears, all the hard work that I put in, the years that I put in, the injuries, um, you know, the three fights that I put in in 16 days. This is, uh, for me, it's my opportunity to go out there and put that final nail in the coffin, uh, show them what I'm all about, and uh, go out there and break them.